Hey everyone, I'm Peter, Product Manager at Rumbit, and today I want to talk to you about some changes we've made to our driver behavior reports. Now before we get started, note that this is our quality assurance environment, and that the numbers you see in these reports may be unrealistic because of that. Okay, let's dive in. So the first new addition to our reports is the overview report, which contains 12 trend widgets. These widgets help you at a glance discover how your company is doing in terms of driver safety. Our widgets track KPIs for impact, harsh turns, and non-eco driving on a weekly, monthly, quarterly, or a yearly basis and compare those numbers with the previous periods in order to track progress. If you want to dive deeper into these results, you can head over to the trend section at the top of the page, where you can review the daily, weekly, or monthly trend in more detail. If you're only interested in, let's say, non-eco events, you can go over to the filter at the top of the page and filter out all other events. We've also expanded the top five section to a top 20 of underperforming drivers and vehicles. This report helps guide coaching efforts or helps identify broken equipment. Our driver and vehicle reports have also gotten an overhaul in much the same way as the general report. The coaching section has remained largely the same, but you'll notice that there are two new sections at the top called Key Metrics and Trends. The Key Metrics section contains the same widgets as the general report, but allows you to review the performance of an individual driver or vehicle respectively. This can be a helpful tool when you're preparing performance reviews, for example. The Trends tab allows you to zoom in on the individual performance of your drivers and vehicles in more detail. This helps you investigate changes in driver behavior or can help track equipment deterioration over time. As always, we hope you've enjoyed this video and we look forward to hearing what you think of these new features.